So now it's time, <coughs> excuse me, to review Jonesy. No skin, no problem. Jonesy is what you start the game as. Or I wouldn't have known that if it weren't for my coworker. Uh, let, me get, let me get his items out of there. If it wasn't for my coworkers, I would not have known that Jonesy is just a basic skin. I think you may have some op options when it comes to the basic skins, but yeah, Jonesy is one of them. This weapon doesn't want to come out. That is hard as hell, man. Alright, we don't need to do the uh, building pieces. They're just not important right now. So here's Jonesy. Off the bat, I think Jonesy's cool. Oh, his waist is loose. I think he's cool, but I don't like his face. The reason I don't like his face? Because it's the same face as Rex's, and he has, like, a mole, it seems like. He looks like someone took a shit on his face. Like... <laughs> He looks like somebody took a shit on his face. <laughs> it doesn't really show up in person. But it definitely it definitely shows up on the camera. That's so funny. Oh man, but this is Jonesy. This is how you start the game, I guess. Um and he gets this this cool looking pickaxe, really. And again, these weapons came with him and Raven, so it's not like these are definitely his guns. None of the guns are any anybody in particular. It's just they come with certain characters. And an attempt to make you buy everything. I'm only doing it because his finger, his fingers were stuck. So now there's this excess piece of paint on the tip of his tongue. I just got it off. I do like this gun. I like this gun, both because of the color and it just looks cool as hell. I like this revolver. I think I have like maybe one other revolver. Not just, not for Fortnite, just in general. So anyway, let's go over his details. He got that. He has a shit stain on his face. Looks like a mole on camera. You can't really see that off camera. But he's um actually painted pretty well. A little bit of issues where the flesh meets the glove, but not bad. I still can't. I still find that hilarious. But, um, green, shin guards, and dark gray shoes or boots, cargo or khaki pants, camo khaki pants, and then he's just green all over, different shades of green. He's cool, got a red bandana. Let's do his articulation. His head starts there. And it goes down, not really at all, and it doesn't really go up either. Um, it does, of course, rotate 360 degrees. His arms go up that high. His left, his right arm, doesn't really give me any resistance. His right arm gives me some. Not a bad way. Rotates 360 degrees at his shoulder. And it's weird. They, they start their arms. Oh, I see a little issue there. It's like a glue. Hmm. Let me go ahead and get that off of him. That was. And then there's his rotation at his elbow. This right arm is kind of loose. You can even see inside the joint. Like it's not like moving on its own or anything. It's just giving me no resistance, but it can it can do its job. It can hold shit, and I mean it's not like the gun's heavy, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna fall or anything. Now this is the tricky part: his articulation here. That seems normal, but you can even see in between. You can see, whoops, you can see where he's loose at. I also want another. Uh, I just don't want another carbide issue. So you rotate 360 degrees at that top one, that bottom one. It's I'm not even gonna make. I'm not even gonna check. I don't want to deal with him breaking. His legs go up that high. 
or not hide, you can do a split. Nasty hoe. So in a lot of ways, this guy is very similar to uh, Raptor, Rex, Rustlor, Bandolier. They're the most basic in terms of their figure. Legs give us swivel with the thigh and double knee, double jointed knees. And of course, feet go up and down. His right foot is giving me all the resistance in the world. Left foot not as bad. And it has the pivot. So that's his uh, articulation. Let's see if we can get his height if he'll stand up. I hope this guy doesn't break. And he's four inches. I'm going to compare him to several fi several figures. I'm going to compare him to Russ Lord. I noticed that like Russ Lord, there's three white guys. Four, three, I don't know. But Russell has a tan, whereas Jonesy doesn't. And then you can see what I mean with the similarities of the mold. Just reusing parts. Not a bad thing. Just repaint it. You put him there. I'm going to keep Russell in screen. And I'm going to grab Bandelier. So you can see like they use the same this part. The same lower body parts on all of these guys and I think yeah and Rex and Raptor Rex same thing also the reason why I said I didn't like uh, Jonesy's face same face almost Rex is a little bit tanner no to their credit they have different hair sculpts so it's a different sculpt they just cut the face similar and I guess Jonesy's face is a little fatter so, okay, Jonesy, you redeemed yourself. The two blondes, the two whitest guys, and then Star Lords rip off. And then, other than that, the other figures in this line are all diverse, man. They look Hispanics, blacks, maybe an Asian, you know, and then there's some undiscernible. There's a purple. <laughs> um, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Let all your homies know where they can find me, B O B, and that's right here at Bob's Holly World. I appreciate it. I'll catch you next time.